Okay, guys, what's up? Jay here, smarthelping.com. We're talking about stacking data from different tabs in Google Sheets. We're going to use some different formulas. Uh, this is going to be specifically in the context of a, an export of monthly financial data from multiple entities. We'll be using the query function, indirect function, uh, unique function, and arrays. <clears throat> so let me walk you through just... I did this for a client, so and I imagine this is going to be very common if anybody has um, QuickBooks exports that export, you know, financial data each month with different line items and different entities across the top and the value of each line item. Forget the actual logic that should go into net income expenses. Like these are just random numbers. Don't worry about that. You'll have your own export data. The point is QuickBooks is tough because it, and many other softwares can do this as well as you'll have an export for a given month and the line items here could be different every month. And you're trying to track and get reporting and do advanced stuff that you can't do in QuickBooks. So you try and export it here every month, you know, and then do more uh, formulations on it. So first things first we want to aggregate and, and i just put january february march i'll show you how to add tabs and adjust the formulas but i just put three tabs here so <clears throat> you export this data uh, from quickbooks into each month you've got different line items and you could just do it for one entity or you could have multiple um here we've got multiple and the first thing i want to do is get a unique list of each of these items so i've got three columns here with different line items and I need a master list of all the different items that could ever possibly exist and that also needs to update as I add new data because you can use this over time for multiple years just create a new workbook uh, and start dropping in the new year's worth of data and that could have different line items so the first thing I have is a line items tab and we have the unique function with a transpose a split a concatenate an array formula and all this is doing is taking you can see january february march column a and we're only pulling the unique values that are in each one so now i get a nice automatically updating unique list of all the line items so this is very good for quickbooks for example you're gonna have exports that have all kinds of different line items in every month and you you need some normalized way to sum this data up so this formula you can do that and it'll update as you add new line items. You can see here, let's say January, I add a uh, test one, two, three. Now I go line items and wait for it to update. Should update here, we might have to refresh. And there's test one, two, three. I'm gonna try another one, uh, test one, one, one. Okay, there, that was faster. So there, you can see that updated. Uh, and if I add it here, test 111, fine. It won't add any more because it's only pulling unique values. Okay, so I got my unique list here. That's the first thing we're doing. The next thing we're doing is we want to stack. So we have data for January, February, March, but we want it report on entity. So we have entity one data, two, three, etc. So now we have, oh, let me remove these extra line items so it looks clean. So now we have these entity tabs and uh, sometimes the query function or Google Sheets takes a second to update. Uh, let's remove this. Okay, so we have the entity tabs just pulling from that unique list of line items right here. So I got that and, and I'll set each entity tab up the exact same way and then we got months going across the top. And then I'm just using this index formula to, or index indirect to pull all the data that's in each of these months. So my indirect reference is the month and then I want to pull the line item and the entity and zero in on the right cell. So that's the index match. I'm matching the entity name and the line item in each of these so I can get the actual unique value for each month for, for entity one in this case. And the reason why we do all these indirects is because we can easily update this and we have more entities. You can just duplicate the entity tab and change this at the top. And then that will adjust, you know, if I had entity two up here, you see now this all updates automatically. Okay, so there we, we're now able to draw out the data in a normalized way where we have every single uh, entity tab it has the same structure months going across the top. 
line items going across the bottom, and we have our identifier for each row because we're going to stack this data. And the reason why you might want to stack it is you might want to be exporting it to a different workbook and you want one clean uh, tab that has all the data for all the entities for each month. Okay, so to do that, we have this data tab here. Now this is the coolest part. So here we're using a query function and we're just doing open uh, parenthesis with a bracket and we're just referencing entity 1, A4 to N, entity 2, and entity 3, A4 to N. And we're just doing this little string here saying select star where column one is not null. Essentially, it has to contain a value. Uh, as long as it contains a value, it will show up. And now you can see we have stacked data of all of these entities. All right here. And then you can export or do sums on this. You have the, the, the entity it's for, the line item for each entity, and the values for each month. And you can do this for 12 months if you want. Uh, now you could also do some cool stuff here if you want to do select, um, you could do select, uh, or make sure, like, let's say you want to do it if column two, see if I remember this, uh, where column two is, or, uh, contains, let's say revenue. So now it's giving me only the data that has revenue in it, or uh, let's say net income. So there I'm only getting the net income. So you could do all kinds of query functions here. And the key is you're not getting any uh, spaces in between. This is only giving you, okay, here's my data for entity one. Here's two, here's three, very clean. Here's all the data I need to do my reports. And all automated. So all the user actually is doing is You'd have January through December tabs, and you just drop in your data, and that's it. And then all of this stuff is all automated. Uh, okay, so let me walk you through. Let's add a tab. So let's say we want to add April. So we're going to duplicate this, April, and then let's say new numbers ran between. Okay. We just have some random numbers here. All right, now what do we do? Well, we can extend this in theory. I should be able to just drag this over and get a value. Perfect, and I don't want all these to be highlighted. Just the formula, main formula. Okay, and then there's my values for um, entity one for April. Same thing for entity two, and I'll just leave this in here for the example. April. So you see these are formulas are very nice and flexible. We drag them over as many months as we have and for as many line items as there are. And you could drag this down if you wanted. You know, if you think there's an indeterminate number of line items, you could just drag this down and set it to if error or, or if A is blank, don't return a value. And as this grows, your data will automatically update. The main issue here is because your exports and cookbooks don't always come perfectly and they also uh, contain different light items in each each month so this is the fix that i found to do this for clients all right so we've got april we also here um well now this is already updating because this is going from a4 to n so we're already pulling it as long as the row is not blank it's going to pull data and really it's checking the tabs here and the one two to make sure a has a value in it as long as a is a value it's going to return the entire row okay so pretty easy to add a month um, you can mess around with that here now if that month has new stuff we also want to add it into our line items uh, so for example let's say we do a test test well, that's not going to be included anywhere yet Let's put some information in here. So what we have to do is here, you can just copy. The best way is to copy the middle one right there. Go under. Whoop. Okay. 
and this is working with a four. Um, you could just remove the formula, go here. Come on now. And paste this in. Now, this isn't. Hold on, undo, 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 undo. Now, I was just doing this a second ago. What the heck? We just want to uh, duplicate this here. Well, the really simple way you copy that formula, get into your notepad here, paste it in, and just go copy. And now you can hit two spaces and go paste like that. And just go as many as you need, you know, January, February, we'll put April here. And you could do that for all the months. And then we'll repaste that in. And now we have our test test coming in here. It's not coming in here because it's blank. We'll have to drag this down. Drag your entity down so you have a value in column A for each entity tab. Okay, now you can see there, oh, boom, we have data. Now the question is, why are we not seeing, oh, we got to drag these formulas down as well. And not too difficult. Now I've already set up the formula, like these queries are going from A to N. That gives you enough space to get all 12 months when you have this, so like for example, if we go all the way to December, that's column N, okay? And then, uh, let's see, that's fine. And then the entity, the index is going from A to BZ, which will give you enough for like, what's that, like 50 different entities potentially to have going across here. And if you had more, you could just raise this uh, entity tab formula to go longer than column BZ. And all you have to do is just copy. You can copy one formula, paste it in here, it's just, and you can see it works because all the references are in place. All right, well, that's how you can stack data from different tabs in Google Sheets automatically without having spaces in between the, the um, you know, not showing blanks, just picking up the data values in each, each uh, tab. And this is a pretty specific use case, but anyone who's reporting on multiple entities with QuickBooks, this is beneficial. And I'm giving it away for completely free. Okay, so the link is going to be in the description box below. You can mess around with this all you want. No, I do custom work, financial, mostly financial modeling um, at smarthelpy.com. You can hire me. My rate's 165 an hour, or you can look at um, all the different financial model templates. I've got over 150 startup financial models in a bunch of different spaces, SaaS subscription models, real estate models, industry specific, uh, startup models, joint venture distribution, waterfall templates, valuation, uh, a lot of accounting tools, HR management. I've got a lot of Google Sheets stuff beyond what you've seen here today. Uh, a lot of different templates in Google Sheets, uh, sales pipeline, and a whole bunch of different bundles as well. You can get everything I've ever built for, um, if you go to the all models bundle here on the sidebar, the super smart bundle, you can get everything I've built for $9.99 and it's lifetime access. Uh, all right, well, that's all I got for you. I'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe.